What is up everybody, Sysadmin Sean here, and today we're gonna go over a little piece of software used for HPC clusters known as SPAC. Um, we're gonna install it, we're gonna install some software using SPAC, and then we'll attempt to use that software on our HPC cluster, so stay tuned. <clears throat> all right, so this is our wonderful cluster box, as we all know. Um, we have to install some packages and get it ready for SPAC. Now, I'm gonna put the link down below to the SPAC main website. OpenHPC, which we used earlier to do our cluster, does have some functionality in, that relates to this and has a SPAC package, but I had some trouble with it. So we're not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta make sure that we've got uh, some stuff installed, some prereqs. So first we're gonna check out for EPL release. We're good there. We're going to check out, uh, we're gonna make sure that development tools are installed. Oh, we got a lot to do there. So let's grab that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, that's done. <clears throat> Our next step is to install some extra packages that we may need. I believe I've got most of these, but just in case, we'll go ahead and slam those in. Hey, there we go. Um, I'm not sure I need that LSB core. And then <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just clone the repo. Hey, Editing Booth, Sean here. Just wanna let everyone know that I was doing this uh, and had it on mute, so I had to re-record this. Basically, I am taking the repo and I'm installing it into a central location instead of just keeping it in roots folder. That way the software will go in that central location and other users can access it, even though I'm the only user. Uh, so it's going into opt ohpc slash share, I believe is the folder. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Then we'll run the environmental file again so that my user account will know that SPAC is located in there and all the software will be in there. So this is basically, these are recipes that are built by the community for different packages. So for instance, OpenMPI, is a message passing interface implementation. You use it to, to do parallel jobs and things like that. Um, there's plenty of different versions available. This is because a lot of times researchers like to stick to a specific version because of some feature set or some way that it calculates. The one thing you have to be careful of is this variance, um, such as you know Atomics, Build System, CUDA, Fabrics. So if you, if you know you're doing like a, certain kind of fabrics, you need to put that in here. If you know you're gonna be using GPU, you need to put that in here. Um, I believe there's something in here for uh, InfiniBand. I thought that was under fabrics, but I don't see it in here. At least I'm not seeing what I expect to see. Um, and then your schedulers, if you wanna give it to that. If you set it to auto, it determines. So what we can do is we can go spec install open MPI. And then for variants, I'm pretty sure we just do, let me pull up the documentation real quick. You can do a virtual environment. So if you wanna manage multiple spec kind of environments for yourself and then pull those environments in, you can do that.
All right. And because of the fancy form of editing, we have trimmed all of this time. That is, I don't know, about an hour or so of compiling and dealing with all this stuff into seconds, minutes, probably. Um, but because we tweaked our compiler within SPAC, we were able to build NWCAM with uh, the compilers we had available. So if we go to SPAC load NWCAM, we now can load that piece of software and technically run it. And you can see, I didn't give it an input file. I didn't give it anything about MPI, blah, 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 blah. So it doesn't work and that's fine. That's where we're stopping for today. We've got SPAC installed and we're happy with that. And with that, we will uh, see you in the next one. Have a good one.